Number 13, Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton drives it left field, absolutely crushed and out of Dodger Stadium. You don't see that every night. It's home runs like this that make Giancarlo Stanton such a terrifying batter to face every time he steps in the box. He, he takes up the whole box visually when you're facing him. And I've faced him a number of times. And he reminds me a lot. I remember having the same feeling when Frank Thomas was in the box. He just takes up the whole box. And you don't feel like there's much, much place to go with him. Thankfully, I throw a pitch that moves a lot of different directions. So I've, I've been able to have a little bit of success against him. But he is a very intimidating player to play against. Coming in at number 12, Albert Pujols. With a nickname like The Machine, it's not hard to see why Albert Pujols is ranked among the most intimidating hitters of all time. Swing and a long one, there it is, baby. The Cardinals take the lead as Albert Pujols comes through in the pit. And the Redbirds lead this, baby, five to four. When this future Hall of Famer steps into the box, his power weighs in the minds of even the greatest pitchers. He's just kind of sitting there, kind of bouncing. You know, he has a slight little rhythm bounce to it, and so you just feel like he kind of has your timing of what you're about to throw, and he's got that bat speed to catch up to anything. So it's not a fun at bat to, uh, to face him with. Coming in at number 11, the player most famous for being himself, Manny Ramirez. What I remember about his stance is I never wanted to see it when there was a big uh, run to be driven in. That's what I remember the most. Off the bat of Ramirez, a leap and it's gone. A two-homer inning for Boston, and they've doubled their lead. It's 4 nothing. You know, Manny was a guy with a late kick that was very controlled. His balance was, was outstanding. Well, Manny used to do the little, <laughs> that little thing right there. I don't know how he did, but he just looked like he was about to go deep every yeah. time. Fly ball, deep drive to left field, and it's gone right now. Out of here, home run, Manny Ramirez. Uh, he was an intimidating hitter, and whenever you could pitch around him, you did. Coming in at number 10, it's Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Hard hit into right, back at the wall, tie game! Big Poppy, the grand slam! Uh, the leg kick, like the leg kick where he, I mean, just a big, big burly man, and um, same thing, close to the dish, uh, felt like you couldn't go in when you're catching. Can't feel like you can't go in. But his leg kick in his hands, he had a little bit of a little bit of a little load with his hands, and, and a man, could he hit a fastball? What I like about him is how he's prior to the swing, he's got this little rhythm. He's he's already down there going. He's getting the feeling, and um, like he told, he said about me, he gets the foot down early, and he also has a little. When he goes up with the leg, he, he also gets his hands going. And that's what I do, too. And we didn't talk about oh, that earlier. watching me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> up next is number nine, Mo Vaughn. High fly ball, deep to right field. Forget that one. That is way, way out of there. Where will it come down? Off the scoreboard, above the ball strike counts. An enormous home run by Mo Vaughn. The man they call Hit Dog was an animal in the batter's box. And who better to hear from than the man himself? Mo breaks down what makes his stance work. My staff can't come from the hitman Mike Easter. He's a bad coach in St. Louis. He basically taught me that if I got out, because I played in Fenway Park, that if I stood flat-footed without even striding and just rocked back, use my hands, that I could hit the ball off the wall anytime I want. That one is high off the wall, and Mo Vaughn will check in with a double. And then we started getting into some more action. That's when I started getting lower and getting my head on the same plane playing the ball. That's why I get there like that, because I want my head on the same plane as the ball. Coming in at number eight, it's the legendary Gary Sheffield. Gary Sheffield with his 500th career home run. I think of Gary Sheffield, you know, how he winds up that front leg and he gets that bat almost turned towards the pitcher. You know, it's amazing he hits the ball as consistently as he does when he has so much going on with all parts of his body. What happened was messing around in practice one day and I started moving the bat. And I wound up hitting, I think, like eight to ten balls out of out of park in a row. And a home run to left field by Gary Sheffield, his first home run in the major leagues and his first hit as a big leaguer. And then Sheffield, you get that really? little wiffle ball bat and you try to swing that thing as hard as you can or as quick as you can. That was fun. I took it into the game. I was in Helena, Montana my rookie year. And I wound up hitting two home runs in that game and I never changed it since. Coming in at number seven, Barry Bonds. 
there may not be a hitter in baseball that pitchers feared more than Barry Bonds. Swing and a long one to deep right field. It is out of here into the water. He may have retired over a decade ago, but an image of Bonds waving his bat around in the batter's box can still strike fear into the hearts of opposing pitchers. He was so quiet in the box, and he just seemed like, you know, the ball. You know, he just had forever to react to it, or it seemed like it seemed that way. Uh, not a lot of wasted movement. He, he was a guy who was on the dish. You know, he had that big elbow guard where it was like, okay, if you can't really pitch him inside because if you throw it out over the dish, he's going to spin your cap a couple times. So, you know, he was definitely a, a guy who was intimidating. Standing slightly crouched in the box, Bonds would stare out to the pitcher's mound, his head unmoving. He'd twitch his bat back and forth in an iconic motion before uncoiling his body into a swing that was equal parts beautiful and terrifying.